All right, everybody, what's up? It's Philly Ron of METtips.com, your one-stop shop for Madden Ultimate Team tips, tricks, collection info, and card reviews. Our goal is to make your mud experience awesome. Today, I'm in front of you guys to do a pack opening. It's been a minute, so let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Before we even press this button to start opening these packs, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment underneath. I'm relying on you guys to actually let me know what some of the values of these cards are. Uh, real quick, you can see that they put out some new cards today. Apparently a JJ Watt and a Terrell Suggs, so I'm pulling these packs so that we can get a shot at these cards. Let's go ahead and get this thing started right away. Hopefully everybody is having a great day. My day is going so-so. Kind of sick of the NCAA tournament with these overrated top tier players keep losing um most recently uh, wiggins not coming through versus stanford you know stanford is a good school but still uh this guy is supposed to be one of the top two picks him or jabari parker and um he did nothing so it is what it is he, he kind of did what this pack did not a damn thing this is pathetic i'm sorry i'm starting off like that but i'm i mean it's just yeah it is what it is. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Hopefully, the good thing about this is I'll have enough cards added to my reserves to hopefully hopefully complete some of these uh, collections. Another Brandon Marshall. We just pulled him in a previous pack, and I'm going to get him again. All right. So let's just... I'm not keeping any uniforms. I'm sorry if, if you guys... If the video takes a little bit longer, I am not keeping any cards that I don't need. You know, I'm just not going to do it. There's no need for me to even send this crap to my reserves. We're just going to keep moving through. Yeah, Brandon Flowers can help because he's in the cornerback collection. But that's about it that I've seen in, in that pack. Let's go ahead and move on to this third pack. Again, we got 15 packs and the one bonus pack. Uh, no, we don't need a jersey. Jerry Rice, not really. Suggs, mm, centers, who knows? Chip Kelly, you heard my Eagles front, Deshaun Jackson and Chip supposed to be beefing. Not sure what that's all about. Hopefully they get things together because they're talking about getting rid of d -Jack. And if you get rid of d -Jack, my offense or this Philadelphia offense is not going to be as explosive as it is. What I actually believe is happening is I think the Eagles are scared of Deshaun now that Michael Vick isn't around. Nobody's talking about that. I really believe that Vic kept or helped keep Deshaun in check a little because I really believe Deshaun respected Vic. Now, without Vic, and uh, what's the, I, don't, I almost called him AJ Philly. They're going to Nick Foles at the helm. I think there's going to be a problem because I don't think DJ likes the fact that Nick Foles looks for Raleigh Cooper almost like first, second, and third option. Kind of like when T.O. was on the Dallas Cowboys and was complaining about how Romo always looked for Jason Witt. It was like, that's all he looks for is Witt. So I see that being an issue with DJ. I um, mean, I think he he respect Vic enough or he knew Vic would get in his ass. And um, he didn't bring that mess to, to, to Vic as much. So, oh, real quick, guys who are fans of the New York Jets, how do you feel about your signing of Michael Vick? Do you think that's going to pan out for you guys? I know someone may say that he hasn't lasted an entire season, only once in his career, um, if I'm not mistaken. And, and I, I don't like to necessarily bring these things up, but, you know, the facts are the facts. I don't believe Nick Foles has made it through a full season as a starter either. Even last year, he was out. Um because of a concussion, I believe, he, he suffered. If I'm not mistaken, I I think that was the case. That's why Vic came back for that second, that second Giants game and injured his hamstring again um, because Foles couldn't go. He got knocked out the previous week. So even Nick Foles hasn't gone a, a complete season. So guys can't really talk about the health of quarterbacks because... If there isn't great protection, not saying the Eagles line was, was bad, but there, if there isn't great protection and your quarterback is getting hit, then of course he's not going to make it through an entire season. And we've known for a while that Vic hasn't really had great offensive lines and 
because of that, he hasn't really made it through many seasons. You know, that's just, it just is what it is. Um, so let's keep on moving here. Whew, let's see what else is going on in Mutt or free agency. I don't see too many different things going on in free agency right now, and it's kind of quiet, I'm guessing. Um, so I really don't, really don't know if there's any big moves planned. Um, I, I normally hear stuff when it's coming into Philadelphia, but you know, Deshaun has really been dominating all the headlines. So, you know, that's where it is in Mutt. You know, they dropped those silver tickets yesterday. Um, EA put out a post this morning saying all silver tickets were accounted for. So you won't find any more of them out there. And um, just, just looking forward to see what the guys who actually got those silver tickets, what do they do with that? What players do they choose? What player would you choose? You know, if you had the opportunity to choose one player right now, out of all the players that have been released so far this year, who would you choose? Me? Who would I choose? Um, maybe that '99 Sherman, that Team Reward Sherman. I think I was. I think I would pick him. I think I would pick him. Or what I might do, kind of off the radar, I would pick. There is a coach card, a John Madden coach card, Super Bowl coach card. I would pick that card. And some of you might be like, what the hell would you waste to pick? Listen, that John Madden coach card gives you a plus one to every attribute on your squad. Every attribute. That's a huge card. You know, that, that type of benefit or that type of boost across the board is... Um, it's pretty special. So that's what I would pick right now. And I'm looking, my team is good. I'm looking for things that could help make us a little bit better. And that particular card, that coach card would make my squad pretty damn good because not it's not like a plus one or a plus two to, you know, catch or power move or this or that. It's a plus one to everything. And if you have opportunity to get something like that, I think you take advantage of it. Now, I don't know how much that card is on the block. I've only seen it once available. Um, and I think it was a million at the time that I saw it. Okay, CB belly, that's nothing real special. This is 15 packs we've gone through and there hasn't been anything special in these packs. That's pretty um, disheartening. But, you know it is what it is you know this is why i stopped actually pulling packs um because it was becoming a waste of money and i don't like yeah you know, i don't mind spending but i sure as hell don't like wasting all right so i really don't mind getting in front of you guys and popping packs i'll pop packs until my finger falls off but i'm not going to do it if there isn't any value in the packs and it's almost like these packs are like the beginning of the year when there was nothing in there and people were just like you know what why I spend money on the game if you can't get anything and so that, that's where it's at so again we went through all 15 packs now we get to the bundle topper and let's see what we get out of this topper a 92 Mason Foster okay all right guys look it's Philly Ryan share this pack poem with you guys please make sure you like the video comment underneath let me know if you've seen any cards in there that are worth anything and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I'll see you guys later. I need a I need a hundred likes, a hundred comments. Talk to you guys in a minute. Peace.